Hey guys, uh, Laura Gelf here. This is the second part of a pickup video uh, today. Um, this is the Super NES games I picked up. The, the bigger of the, the two parts, or at least the bigger of the uh, two pickups. Um, yeah, like I said, I got these uh, from a guy who I got my September 11th uh, Genesis game pickup from. Um, been talking to him. We kind of keep each other in the loop of what's going on in, in our respective areas. Uh, but without further ado, let me throw out some of these games. The Great Circus Mystery. Mario's Time Machine, Lester the Unlikely, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, oops, I'm sorry, the chaos continues, I'm sorry, um, Jurassic Park, Jungle Strike, Samurai Showdown, Wild Snake, and again, like I mentioned on the last video, if you caught it, you know, who knows which one will be uploaded first, but um, these are all games out of a list that I just picked through and... You know, he let me know what was what and what looked good, what what you know I might not like because of labels or whatever. But man, I've been wanting that game for a while. I love the Venom, the Carnage, you know, uh, characters. And that's actually some games I don't have for the uh, Genesis. Is some of the uh, you know Spider-Man with uh, Venom and Separation Anxiety or whatever. And if they even have Separation Anxiety, I can't remember for sure, but. Soldiers of Fortune, that's a game I got the Genesis one from him as well here, but I, I like that game a lot. I haven't played the Super NES one, I assume it's pretty close to the Genesis. So, you know, just a port. Um, X-Men, uh, Mutant Ap Apocalypse, uh, WrestleMania, Turn of the Jedi, this is the uh, w one of the two that I was missing. William's Greatest Arcade Hits, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, one I was excited to get. Got to clean a lot of these up, but that's you know no big deal. Pretty much the labels are, are pretty solid on all of them. Uh, Fatal Fury 2, I'm, yeah, Fatal Fury. Doom with the red, like they all are. Finished my Donkey Kong collection. I uh, got the uh, classic or Player's Choice uh, release of this, number three. Which I, I mentioned before, I'm not a big Donkey Kong Country fan. I hadn't really played them too much, to tell you the truth, but. Um, yeah, just maybe need to give them a chance, really, I guess. I know they're, they're good classics. Uh, Cliffhanger, Hunt for Red October for a couple movie movie games back-to-back. -back. Super Battle Tank, cool. Uh, T2, the arcade game. I hadn't looked through these yet, so I'm kind of uh, forgetting I'm videoing and, and starting to, to pay a little more attention to what all, all cool crap I got here, so please bear with me. Uh, Super Star Wars, awesome. So that's the third, you know, of the three in the, the trilogy. Those games, I don't remember which one it was, but back in the day, um, I remember I got it pretty much, you know, brand new, fresh rental. You know, before internet was at least being used by me, I uh, found a code on that game. I was doing all kinds of button presses, and I did something kind of on accident, and, you know, the like the level select, whatever code, but... I was pumped because it wasn't in, the, in any of the gaming magazines for a while. Not that that means a thing, but, you know, just feeling that I discovered something myself without, you know, especially like a code. <laughs> it's just kind of a cool time back then. I remember as a kid. Uh, Boxing Legends of the Ring. All right, let me get these here. Got a couple of these uh, Pugsley's, uh, or a couple Adam Family's games. Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt. Here's Mortal Kombat 2, which I needed. Um... Without spending too much time looking over here, this side of my other Mortal Kombat's, but oh no, I didn't need Mortal Kombat 2. Oh well, I'll have a trade. That's cool. Um, Fighters History, Battleship, Stunt Race Effects. Been wanting that game. Look at those fancy extra chips in there, guys. You know what that means? That's power. <laughs> Star Trek: uh, The Next Generation. Ah, this game, cool. Label's a little messed up, but I can probably clean that up. What do you guys use for, like, especially permanent marker? That's my biggest concern on some of these, just getting some of the permanent marker off. I don't know if you guys can suggest something besides Goo Gone, but, you know, this is kind of a rare game, too, so I think Goo Gone might... No, I don't know if I want to use it on that label, but I'll try a little bit with that. I might heat it up a little bit and try to wipe it off with a, a terry cloth or something. Um, Batman Forever. Batman Returns. Alien 3. Some more good ones right here. Uh, Kirby's Avalanche. Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. 
Gradius. I've been wanting that one for a while. That's an old school one, Gradius 3, of course. This game, I didn't even realize it was a Super Nintendo game. Gods. Um, I don't even know quite what it's like, but for some reason I think I'm going to like it. Here's an F-Zero. Uh, hey, one thing I wanted to point out, I'm sure everybody pretty much knows, but you know, I never say too much interesting stuff in here. I thought it was kind of interesting, uh, the, the types of uh, Super NES cases. You know, obviously the original Super NES has the eject button and whatnot. Um, so when the game goes in, it used to be, you know, you'd pull it out and you couldn't pull it out because it, it locked in until you, like, pressed the power off. But anymore, you know, you can pull a game in and out with the power. I don't know why they changed it, but you'll notice all the newer games have the, uh, you know, at least as far as I know, all the newer games have that, you know, instead of the actual catch there. So, kind of interesting. One of the few differences on, on cards, so kind of need to know why, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Robo Trek out of this world, needs to <laughs> be cleaned. Race driving, I might have had that game, but oh well. Uh, Populist, Pac-Man 2. Surprised I haven't knocked over one of these stacks yet. Alright. Fail Fury Special. Yoshi Safari, another good one, I believe. Spectre Gadget, I didn't even realize that was a game. Vortex. Toy Story, which I, I didn't realize that was a Super Nintendo game either. Jungle Book, going along with some of the animated stuff. Alright, hopefully this is still recording. <laughs> Death of and Return of Superman. Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. The Ignition Factor, which I've never heard of that one. And finally, another wrestling game, WrestleMania, which I thought I had that one in another stack. Maybe it's just a different version, but I think I had like uh, 78 uh, Super Nintendo games, and I just picked up. I think it's like 58. So. I, I was pretty proud of my Super Nintendo collection. I mean, I had a lot of games I liked, of course, but it's awesome just to be able to get so many games at once. I'll, I'll sit down, cleaning these up, and, and kind of integrate them in the collection. And you know, like I said, I have some other videos kind of brewing. I need to get all this crap sorted, get a trade video up. I already have some uh, people I've been talking to, and they've already traded. And you know, feel comfortable with all these. Uh, guys here to, to trade with. Obviously they're established way more than I am, so awesome of them to take on a newbie like myself and, and even talk about trading, you know, with, with nobody else experiencing any uh, trade with me yet, but, um, you know, that, that's how it works. We, we take joy in helping each other out, and it's cool to do it with the uh, YouTube community as well as, you know, local people or, or people from Craigslist or what have you, but... Thanks for checking out this pickup video, uh, all Super NES. Uh, I had the uh, sealed uh, F-Zero too. Should have probably shown in this one, but it's, it's over somewhere else. Uh, but hey, thanks again for watching. I'll probably have a couple more videos up soon. Got a, a lot of ideas and a lot of work. <laughs> Later, guys.